All right, guys, welcome back to EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode, part number six, I believe this is now. So first of all, I just want to apologize for the short delay in this one, uh, but we're going to finish up the Masters in this video. So in the last video, I had changed it from full rounds to quick rounds, and we did rounds one and two of the Masters. And in this video, we're going to finish it off rounds three and four. We're going to keep the quick rounds going. Um, kind of vibing with that right now, so that's where we're going to keep it, but... I did change another difficulty setting because we're tied for third at the Masters as an amateur. Uh, and I don't want to be tied for third. I want to be down in like 20th or something in our first year, you know? I mean, I don't want to be winning all these events. So I made something else more difficult. I turned off the shot arc where it kind of tells you how much power you need to apply with the little like white line at the top. I turned that off. So now I have a feeling it's going to be almost impossible to judge to judge the distance because I feel like in this game the vibration for the overswing turns on only when you're at like maxed out power it doesn't actually turn on when you're supposed to be uh hitting the ball at a specific point I feel like so it's going to be tough to judge I've never tried this I just turned it off and we're going to jump into it so we're tied for third I believe at the Masters I think that's what it said right there but let's get into it. Rounds three and four. Guys, I just wanted to real quick say thank you so much for the support on the last video where I was addressing the uh, issues that the team went over that they're uh, hopefully going to be fixing soon. You guys killed it, like absolutely killed it on that one. So cool to see all the comments rolling in. I tried to uh, comment back to as many as I possibly could, but guys... I'm trying to find a way to actually like forward the link to that video to the team. I think I'll probably just message them on Instagram or something like that and just let them know because I want them to see. I want them to see what you guys are saying. I think it's important for them to see. And uh, you guys just came in with so many good suggestions and bugs that you guys are experiencing. So maybe some of them they're unaware of, you know. All right. Rounds three and four of the Masters. Let's get it, baby. 14 mile an hour wind so it's gonna be difficult difficult conditions and it seems like the winds have maybe more of an effect in this game um than what i'm used to so yeah i mean see this is what i'm talking about here i got no shot arc that's a big time overswing, and the swing path was off all right so it's gonna be an adjustment for me and i'm slow too <laughs> so i haven't played the game and actually I don't know, a couple days, so just shaking the rust off there. Not the worst thing in the world. All right. Let's go with the pick here. It looks like our lie is going left to right, so let's adjust to the left. Okay, let's ready up now. Approach the ball, sir. See, right there, like how... I don't know how I was like really supposed to judge that based on power. I did not feel any sort of vibration at all there. But uh, hopefully we can make this putt here and save our par. Yeah, we're in third place. We're six under. All right. Come on. Let's save par here. Bang, right in the middle. Okay, we'll take that. We'll take a par here in the fourth. And we actually birdied hole three. Nice. So we were five under. Obviously. Obviously. Thanks, G, for that great insight. Hole number five, Magnolia, <laughs> a par four All right. Stout, How are you guys liking the whole presentations? Do you normally... Are you trying to, like, already skip through them, or are you enjoying going through them, still watching them? Honestly, if it was me, I'd probably just skip them already. I mean, they're nice. I, li I do like them. But uh, I just want to play quick rounds. But I try and like leave them on for the videos. Oh, I forgot. You know what I should do for next video is turn the um, turn the pros on, so we can play alongside a pro. Okay, that's better. It's still an overswing, and again, like no vibration there. So it's obviously it's just not going to be a thing. Um, no issues here. Got to kind of just look the at the way. swing and. Get used to it, you know? It was a much better swing, though. The swing path was decent. It was just a touch slow. Okay. All right, so we're going to need to club down. Ooh. 
Is this too much of a club down? I don't think so. Let's go here with the 8-iron approach. Yeah, I think we're lined up good here. Big time slow. Okay, I gotta get uh I gotta get back in the habit in a big time overswing, yeah. Alright, so that's way long. Actually come down, please. <laughs> it rolls to the very top of the green and just sticks on the fringe. Oh my. Look at it. Look at how much it's sloping down there too. I think it actually might have come back down a bit. Wouldn't have actually gone towards the pin, but. Alright, spinner. You know me, I love my spinners. And like, so okay, I'm gonna take a practice swing here. See, the vibration only occurs when he reaches the very top of the backswing. It doesn't occur when you're supposed to feel where you're supposed to hit it at. Actually, it kind of did there. Oh, but now it went away. What the heck? I don't know, guys. That's tough. That's a difficult one. All right. I don't know if there's really any way to judge that at all. And when I when I got off of my practice swing, I felt vibration real quick in the backswing, but it uh, seemingly was just a glitch. Because every swing after that, it just was gone. Yeah, well, good, good thing we are making our putts because uh, we're in for it. And he's gonna remain one shot but I'm trying to make it as realistic as possible, like scoring-wise. You know, I don't want to be, you know, all right, we're dropping. Our, you know, we were in third, now we're in fourth. <laughs> you know, I still don't want to finish even in the top ten, really. But So we're down 25 feet here on this par three, but we have basically a 13-mile-an-hour headwind, so... Let's just, I almost think that this isn't going to be enough, but let's try it. Because there's my fast coming into play, and that's just one of the worst shots you'll ever see. Come on. Come on, G-Money. How could you even be at the Masters with the swing like that? And that will miss off to the left and wind up in the short grass. Spinner. Uh-oh, and it goes miles past. Big time fast, and I'm surprised that stopped there. How did that even stop? Especially with the rolls in this game. That was on the biggest slope of the entire green, seemingly. And it looks like we're going to be getting a bogey here on this difficult putt. Can't see the hole. All right, I gave it a run. Uh-oh. little tester now. Even for the comeback. Let's try and just putt through the break here. All right, so we're going to have to settle with the bogey, and this is very difficult, guys. This is actually very difficult. But I almost feel like it's difficult in a bad way, because it's almost... Let me know in the comments, how many of you guys have already turned the shot arc off, and do you have any tips or tricks for me? Because I'm struggling, and, and I I know this is the first round, the first like couple shots, but I'm a little baffled on even how to judge it at all. So what are your tips and tricks? I mean, I could, like if it's a full swing path, like where I'm supposed to actually reach the apex of the swing, like, I get that. I can kind of just visually see, but what are you supposed to do for partials? How are you supposed to judge partials at all? Like, even that was an overswing. It didn't really seem like I hit it 100%, but I guess so. And we're going to be down in the in the rough now. I might not have accounted for the win there, but... Down on the course, let's check in with Nota Begay the third. 105 yards to the front. Oh boy. Oh boy, we got this camera Player angle. Has to contend with this left to right breeze. Oh, I hit the trees. Dang it. That actually might have been a pretty decent shot otherwise. 
That's unfortunate. Too much juicy grass hmm. between okay. the ball and the club face. It's always gonna come Can up we do a flop right. here? Yeah. Let's just go with the regular flop. Club up just a little bit. Yeah, and they see there's the underswing. Like, I just, uh, I don't know. I think I might have to turn that back on. I'm going to leave it off for the rest of this video. See if you guys have any tips or tricks for me in the comments. Hopefully some of you guys do, because I'm lost. Oh, almost. And it looks like we're going to have back-to-back -back bogeys here. He's not feeling it. Here we go. Auto tap in for bogey. Guys, one of the comments, I could not believe this. <laughs> and it almost happened right there. But what I was about to say, oh, wow, we've actually bogeyed three out of the last four there. But what I was about to say was some of you guys said that you were having issues with the auto tap. It's not going in. The auto tappings were missing. I could not believe that. One person said that, and I legitimately almost didn't even believe him. And then I saw somebody else say the same thing, and I was like, no way, dude. No freaking way are the auto tappings actually missing. What happens after that? Does it just auto tap in again? Alright. Wow. This is tough. This is tough with the uh, shot arc not on. Honestly, though, like, I'm not even having fun, though, with it. I'm not even having fun. I think I'm going to back out and turn it back on. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Because that, like, to me, that, that just wasn't even fun. But as you guys can see here, I got the swing difficulty on hard. Putting's still on easy. That's the one thing I could probably change up. Um, but we'll do... I want to do the swing meter on. We'll do that. But I did turn the real-time backswing off so I don't know we'll see how that goes maybe that'll kind of change things up a little bit as well all right so let's go back into career we'll finish things up at the masters round four see where we're finished we're actually tied for 16th now so I feel better about that feel better about that we don't want to be in the top 10 we'll see if we can finish if we finish around 16th 15 something like that you know that'll be that'll be fine by me Sunday at Augusta. Three simple words that bring to mind those timeless images of yesteryear. And what lies in store today? What decisions to be made? What parts to agonize over? What roars will echo and reverberate to the second night? And who will be left standing in the twilight? Trophy aloft, sporting a new green jacket. This is the final round of the Masters. All right. EA nice. Sports Look at that. And the PGA Tour, so proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Cool. Today could be a coronation in the world of golf, a champion crown, a green jacket. Wow, what a close-up. <laughs> could you imagine? Memories created to last a lifetime. It is the great challenge that all these golfers face trying to string four solid rounds together trying to I mean this is really cool how they have a specific even round four presentation the entire field as we check the leaderboard our leader is Tony Finau he's at nine under so let's get you out to the action on the turn as we head wow so we bogeyed one we've parred through the rest of the front nine and we're now we're starting the back nine <clears throat> One over for the round. We're actually tied for 10th. Okay, so the shot arc is back on. Okay. Yeah, I need to change. The next thing I need to do is change my swing tempo because I'm hitting them all fast now. So I think, because I've been getting in the habit of actually flicking them. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. So we can try and punch this, but we're probably still going to hit this tree anyways. Um.
Yeah, it did. It did. Go left. Yeah, and it's going to roll probably all the way into the bunker. Yeah, it will. All right, you know what? That's actually not the worst so result. We'll take that. Should have a pretty good lie out of there. Um, everything slopes away from the bunker. But I've been getting in the habit of, like, flicking up the controller more rather than um, actually pushing through on the backswing. But I got to remember that I actually kind of need to push through, otherwise it's going to be too fast. Yeah, and right there we got a good one. Still going to roll off the green. Oh, my. That ball out of the bunker. Okay. But into the and we're struggling here to start the back nine at the Masters. But that's okay. You know why? Because we're learning. We're learning, guys. That's pretty good. Underswing, though. Even though it didn't seem like it was. Like, some of those... He has a 12-footer here. Uh-oh. Swing path was bad on that one. Yeah, and it does miss right. Yeah, I knew it. I felt the push as soon as I hit it. And I knew that that was going to be the difference in the putt. And it actually was, so... Auto tap in for double bogue. So double bogey here on the 10th. Is he going to make it? Just lips in at the end. Wow. All right. He'll fall back to one under par. He's frustrated, but it's okay. We got to stick in it. Um, we move along to hole number 11 here at Augusta National. Now at 520 yards, a par four. This tee box should. Yeah, what I was saying there on that underswing, though, is I. What was that a flop right shot that I was hitting? A good 15 yards. I swear, it would, like, the meter looked like I had pretty much matched right it up with where the power was supposed to be. So I would not be surprised if that's a glitch at times, too. I feel like it's probably pretty accurate for the most part on these drives. That's a good swing. That's one of the best swings you'll see right there, right down the middle. Not going to go too far. We do have a headwind of like seven or eight miles an hour. And we're only driving the ball. What is it, 280 as it is? So with that headwind, we're not going to get too much. But let's get a birdie. Can we try and get a birdie here? Exactly like that. Really good shot. Gonna need to club down. We'll try this. We'll try this. Overswing there. A little slow. It's not that bad. Come on. Win. Kill it. Nah, it's just gonna bounce too far and it's actually gonna roll into the bunker. Alright. That's got to be disappointing. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, obviously, not looking like we're gonna be able to make this in by any chance but all right that's a great pick shot right there from the bunker oh the hands came through i wanted to underswing that one i just i don't know i just felt like the thing to do there so if you're wondering why i underswung it so much there i did it on purpose the fast i did not but all right all right, so he's excited about the bounce back par. One under. We're in 11th place, and that's fine. Er, no, excuse me, I'm sorry. We're actually through 11. Looking at the wrong side of the scoreboard there. We're in 20th place. All right, Golden Bell, obviously one of the most beautiful holes, in my opinion, in all of, in all of golf. Augusta's beguiling beauty. See if we can get a good one here. I want to get at least at least one birdie in the video, you know? Overswing. It's only 0.8 though. And it goes that uh -oh. far to the right. Like wow. We're in the water? Uh oh. What? That comes up short. That needs to hold what? On. Uh, what just happened? Not, runs back into the creek. Short of this 12th green. The 7 to 8 mile an hour headwind killed it that much, even though I had an overswing? Okay, so the drop made, and this will become his third at the par 3. Wow, I'm shocked. Did the ball stay there? Yeah, it did, okay. <laughs> All 
I'm gonna high flop this from eight yards. Oh my gosh, what? Wow, all right, we'll chip it. And now it's probably gonna go miles past. The, the chips are just so long. That's why I didn't want to chip it. Yeah, because look at how much I cut off of the power there. An underswing of minus 17%, and it still went up exactly where I wanted it to go. Oof, we're struggling this video, boys. Not going to be a good finish to the Masters, but we're just getting back into it. Another auto tap in. Double bogey par, double bogey. Now what you want to see. True amateur style right there. <laughs> 27th now this is regarded by most as the greatest par 5 in the world why the risk reward that's involved. all right par 5 let's get at least some type of circle here on the on the scorecard all right winds are down pretty good shot there just a touch slow just a touch under swing left but we're fine Right in the middle of the fairway. Yeah, nothing to fault <clears throat> Good result. Let's see if we can drive the green here and put ourselves in position at least for a birdie opportunity, you know? Obviously, you got the little creek there in front, but... Looks like the lie is going to the left. If I had to guess. Decent swing. Go right. Go right now. Curl in. Curl in. No, it's just going to go miles past. Oh my gosh, the greens are really fast here in round four. Really fast, and I think that's one of the reasons why we're struggling mightily. But we're on the green with a long putt for Eagle. I love these little uh, putting presentations here before the actual putt. I love that. Stand up and hit a shot like that. Show us the skill on this par five. I mean, I'm going to aim it, like, all the way out here. Just, like, get somewhat close for a birdie. Wow, we're still that far to the left of the hole. Okay. We got still a little bit of work left to do. Eight feet left for a birdie. mentally to hit the ball much firmer. Down two inches, I don't care. I'm going to power through the break. All right. So you can see, definitely not a gimme there. Big time struggle, bus. Can we make this for par? All right. We get the we get the par coming back, but a disappointing par at that, seeing as we were on the green in, in two there. Wow. I mean, that's round four for you at the Masters. Greens are just insane this round. Like, much, much tougher than the first two rounds for sure. No doubt about it. The real challenge here is is the green. Two-time Masters champion Ben Crenshaw considered this to be underswung that one. Perfect timing though. Kick right. Yep. Okay. It's all right. We can take that, and let's see if we can actually get one close here. All right, he loves it. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first time with Notovigay the third. 156 yards left to the hole. Pin in the back. Aim a little bit more to the right here. Overswung, but it was also slow. Okay. All right. Not bad. Going to be a tricky one, obviously, still for birdie. We got a par for sure. Come on now. Come on, let's get one. No turn. They, like, literally did not turn at all. I didn't see any break in that. And those first three lines were breaking hard from left to right. Wow. I'm stunned.
No issues there. <laughs> you know, when I see something like that, it's like my first inclination is to try and blame the game because... Like, let's be honest, they they came out and said it themselves in, in, in the uh, community post that they made. Like, they're aware that there's issues on the green grids. Was that one there? Maybe. Might have been. Well, place tee shots to the right side of the fairway create a big advantage, but the risk of mm. running into the pine straw or facing a side hill lie has also been in not a good shot, but we're in the middle of the fairway. And that will do just All right. 261 yards left to the green. The fairway. And you know we're going for it. I think we're in a position here where we got to be aggressive. Shot in golf, but don't let the beauty fool you. There is trouble everywhere. Oh, I know. But we did eagle this, I believe, in round two. Oh, this is power approach with the driver. This is not really the shot that I wanted. Isn't that interesting how... Okay. I don't know what I want to do here because this is... Let's do this. Let's do it. YOLO. Kind of wanted to overswing that just in case. Because if anything, it was going to come up short. Kick up. Yes. Go, go, go. No. All right. Okay, safely aboard here at the par 5, 15. Not bad, really. Not a bad result. I'm okay with it. Up the downhill lie, that ball just hung in the clouds for a little while. I kind of had a feeling it was going to be short like that. All right, with 38 feet. I just want to aim get to the back of the green. out to the it's right stable. side, like, big time here. Can't really see what's going on. Yeah, that's good pace. Just a okay, we're close, and we should finally have a birdie! Auto tap in. Does he make it? <laughs> oh, this is far... Yes! One finished off. It's a birdie here at 15. Woo! And he's got it back to even par. Birdie. Back at even par, and that's fine. We arrive now at the 170 yard par 3 16th, played entirely over water. Finally get a birdie there. All right. Three bunkers. Par 3, 170 yards. Precision off the tee. Are they going to let us finish out the round? You can make a birdie. I don't know. We shall see. Let's play this over here to try and take that bunker out of play. Actually, no. You know what? Wind's going a little bit to the right. Power's darn near perfect. Yeah, it's short. Short, unfortunately. We're going to be in that bunker. But we're still so close to the hole that just anything getting out of the bunker out here... The bunker. Just a little splash out on this path, right? Should be just fine. Sit now. Okay. All right. Should be an auto tap in. Mm, that is a good looking pass out of the bunker right there. Got that. Doesn't seem to like it, but place. he should. I mean, you can't really hit one much better than that. All right. Bang. All right. Okay, that'll be a par here. There we go. I'm starting to wonder now if they're going to actually have us finish off 17 and 18. 25th. Yeah. Maybe they let you play more in round four to have more of a chance to actually compete if you're actually in the running for something. I don't know. And if that's the case, that's that's nice. That's a nice touch. All right. A bit of a narrow fairway here. We don't want to uh, mess up too much here. And we don't. Pretty good swing. Yeah. Good bounce. Yeah, that's a nice Decent swing. swing. A little bit of a push at the end of the swing path there, but it's not too not too bad. And our guy still is actually sick. He just wipes his nose again. Man. Get him some allergy medication or something, you know? Could just be the allergies at Augusta. You know, you play Augusta in April. Everything's blooming in. Well, I guess it's Georgia. I'm sure it probably bloomed earlier than that, but. 
Oh, there's a good swing. Is it going to be enough power? Yes, it is. It's still going pretty far to the left, however. Sit down now. Rolls out a decent bit, but we'll actually have a chance for birdie there. 17 and a half feet out. Could be worse. So I'm very happy with that one. Okay, we got a chance now. And not a particular demanding putt here. Maybe slightly down an incline, but it is dead straight. See, when they say stuff like that, it makes me think that it actually is. Yeah, it actually was, guys. That was a dead straight putt. That was a ghost break for sure, 100%. So whenever the commentator says it's dead straight, listen to him. Don't even pay attention to the lines. I mean, that's that's happened, in, like, I think, like, two or three times now for me. No problems there. That's a par here at 17. Like, I, I'm, I even came back in, I think, twice on that one. Because I had adjusted where I normally thought. And then as soon as he said that, I was like, oh, man, I think I came back in twice. And it still wasn't even enough. I mean, I aimed just outside of the cup. And it did not break at all. It was literally dead straight. So there's a tip for you. Whenever the commentator says it is dead straight, it is. Under swing. But that's fine because if anything, we just want to take those bunkers out of play up there. Yeah, that one never Not sure we could have really ever reached anyway, but opening, that is going to work out just fine. All right. So now, up the hill, the second at Let's see if we can have a decent decent finish here. I think this actually might be okay. Cuz we're 37 feet up. I don't know, but we have a little bit of a headwind or a tailwind, excuse me. Big time fast, and it goes way to the right. There is a hill here. It's probably going to roll over. No, it's not. Okay, come down. Wow, it stays right on the hill, uh, yeah, surprisingly. Finished on the green. <laughs> Let's say the better. And this is going to be... A oh, putt, but a bending putt. Strong just right one of the probably one. worst putts you'll ever see. Very I mean... Please, just to get this one within a couple of feet. Yeah, I mean, holy cow. I don't know how that ball stayed there. How did my ball stay on that hill? All right, so it looks like we're going to be taking a par here on 18. Right in the middle. So we finish at even par. My voice just cracked there. Even par at the Masters. And unfortunately, it was a very poor round three and four. We finish in 24th overall. But, uh, that's fine. You know, we made the cut. That was one of the quests that we had. My, actually, my next quest said win the Masters. It's like, nah, I think we need to unpin that one. And I changed it to the FedEx Cup rankings. We can try and become ranked in the top 200. We'll do that next, hopefully. But, yeah, disappointing. I think we only had maybe one birdie overall. Disappointing rounds three and four, but... We're just kind of getting into the swing of things, you know? So, all right, let's see what we get here. We get 9,600 XP. We're still a golfer level 25. And that's fair enough. Oh, it just said congratulations something. Hopefully it still stays up there because I was not able to read that. You have qualified for the U.S. Open. All right, let's go. That message went away. <laughs> all right. I don't know what that said. Maybe you guys can go back like a split second and try and pause it at the exact moment that that box came up. I'm going to try to. I don't know what it said there. But yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, again, guys, thank you so much for the support on the last video. Thank you so much for the continued support on this series. Uh, I've been having a blast putting this stuff out. And um, you guys have been killing it with the support. So stay tuned for episode, what, seven, I think, is the next one. So I'll be putting that out probably in the next couple days. So anyway, love you all and peace out.